It's time. Let's get it. Hey, what's going on, everyone? I hope you all are doing well. My name is DJ Kublan, record producer, sound engineer, and today I'll be deconstructing the production process of Good Time by Kiss Daniel. Consider subscribing, like, share, comment, and ensure you watch this video to the end, because of course, there's a lot to learn. And without much further ado, let's get straight to it. So over here, I'm in Pro Tools and um, I've already imported the stems into the project. Let's have a brief run through so you hear what we are about to do today. Yeah, so, and um, I have separated the drums and percussions from the melody. So, for this deconstruction, I'll begin with the drums. So, let me just uh, mute the, the melody. Yeah. So, I, I'll begin with the kick. And the next element, the intro crash. Next element. Next element. Next element. So this is a snare actually. Then the next element. So the rest of the beat. Next element. And if you notice, this particular file has multiple samples comped together. Now, the reason why I have that sound, like the reason why I have multiple samples comped together on one file is to avoid remodification. I do not want to change the volume level or the volume relationship between those two sounds. So that is why I put them together. So I'm going to play back with the rest of the beat. So next element is this guy. So to tell you what, that idea was actually Kiss's idea because he was like, he was, he was making a tone with his mouth while making a voice note. And I'm like, hmm, I like, I like how that sounds. And he was like, yeah, I, I need to, I need to, you know, develop that. And I'm like, that sounds like something that a tom will do, something like a tom will project. Next sound is uh, this guy. So the rest of the beat sounds like this. Now, the reason why I have that in there is to help accentuate the high frequencies in the drum group you know, to just give me some kind of excitement. And uh, yeah, next instrument, this guy. Another Tom. Wow. 
why I'm using more terms is because the original idea was to give it some kind of anthemic vibe, you know, to make it sound like a parade, like, because parades have got like so much energy in them. And that is what we needed to replicate in this record so that it is, you know, from the intro, you, you can feel the energy, the energy you can feel, excuse me, you can feel the energy, energy to keep listening to the track. So yeah, and the Toms did that for me. Uh, yeah, next element. Another comp. So just to, you know, re-explain, the reason why I'm using comps is so that I do not get to take elements that make that particular comp. I do not want to modify, excuse me, I do not want to modify the elements that make up that comp. I don't see myself making further edits in volume changes, you know? So that's why I just bounce it like that. So it's just one file. Yeah. Next element is a low crash, or I call it a Chinese crash. So with the rest of the beat. Next element is coming in now. The solo that element I just played, here it is. So, the beat. Following suit is the next element, still in the live drums family. Here's how it goes. The almighty drum roll. So soloing that alone, here's how it sounds. Another comp, you know, I do not see myself remodifying that, so. Next element is just a dry snare. So this is the hook. Yo, this snare is one of the most beautiful elements in this beat because what it does is it increases the energy. It it beefs it up, you know, as dry as it is, but it gives it more strength. You know, we already know that from the intro, there's an energy present, right? So, but then if it's going to be that way throughout the song, it gets boring because people are already used to that level of energy. So what the snare did at the hook is to increase the energy, to increase the, the presence of the entire beat, you know, to give it more pressure you know so when you're listening you're like hmm something has just kick-started here so yeah that's what the snare did and uh yeah at this point we're done with the beat the drums and the percussions arrangement so now we're on to the melody and for the melody one of the first elements i have here is the organ so listen to that alone So the rest of the beat. The 
next element, I have this chord. Yeah, let me solo it first. Mm. 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 Yo, those chords are powerful, man. All right, with the rest of the beat, Next element, we have the brass. All right, so this is how it sounds alone. Yo, if I run a band and the brass guy plays like that, he's fired. Like, he's fired. He's done. <laughs> but anyways, with how this is performed, it works well for the music. So check this out with the rest of the beat. Next element is um, the sound. Now, why would I why would I use a careless sound like this? Now, this buzzing sound sine wave helps me accentuate the higher frequencies of the melody group you know that that means it just helps me excite any low-ended um sound you know just to give me some kind of top so yeah especially for that brass because that brass sounds really like in the mid-range mid low, mid range or thereabout, it barely has any highs in there. So that buzz sine wave helps me, you know, produce some kind of harmonics for the brass. So. You know, it makes you feel like you're still hearing the brass, but then it's something else playing the same thing the brass is doing. Yeah. Next element, I have this. Another organ. So what this organ does to this music is to give it that afro beaty vibe, you know, because of course, I don't know how complete an afro beat music is without organ. Like, I mean, one of the most vintage afro beat songs has lots of organs, you know, so I mean, it's organic, right? <laughs> um, yeah, with the rest of the beat, sounds like this. So I have a set of organs here <laughs> organs <laughs> so let me slow that real quick so you get to hear how they were performed so just to create some kind of run at the end there next element is 
Let me solo it real quick so you get to hear what it is. It's a piano. So to play but to play that with the rest of beat sounds like this. Next element is our uh, solo brass. You know, a lot of people, a lot of people know this brass because it played alone. You know, during the performance of the song. So, check this out. E. 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 Mm -hmm. Yo, that brass is very present. Looks like the guy that played it in the, in the, in the intro has woken up now. I think he got something to drink. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah. Next element is the bass. I know how much I, how much I love this bass. Check this out. Listen to it alone. Yo, can you guys hear that harmonic, the ambient one? Like, see, the song breaks the rules. Like, it breaks the rules. Like, look at the kind of thing we're using for bass. Now, you know, that's one thing about following rules. Like, just break them anyway when you're creating because in the end, you're in control of your creative decision. So, yeah, with the rest of the beat, here's how it sounds. Yo, this is sick. All right, next element is the guitar. You shout out to Fioki. You know, he played the guitar in this track, even though we did not use everything. We just chose some things, but the full guitar was used in the remix. So check this out alone. But the rest of the beat sounds like this. Yo, next element is just it's another guitar, but then it was it wasn't played like with a live guitar, it's just something I found in the bank. Alone. Yeah. With the rest of the record.
yo, this sound is dope. And uh, just to hear something that happened at the brass towards the end of the song, check this out. I was already doing something new with that. So, um, just like that, we've come to the end of the beat, the construction process of Good Time by Castania. One more element though, the vocals. And um, what I have here is the mixed vocals. Like I've already bounced everything. I've processed the entire thing. In another tutorial, I'm going to show you how that was done. And uh, not to make this one too long and make it, specific to just the beat creative process. I've just, I decided to do it this way. So um, this is the vocals. Yo, I'm going to put the link to the full record in the description. So in case you want to go check it out yourself. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe. Subscribe if you love to see more of this kind of content. And also turn on the notification so you know when I post. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video. Peace.